Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about our day at Universal Studios Orlando, how much it costs us for the day park ticket. We will show you the merchandise at the Universal Studios store and we will do a dining review on Leaky Cold. Here's a height guide. How tall are you? In order to ride these attractions, you must be as tall as the red line. We paid $144 per person plus tax for a total of $306.72 for two adults for day park tickets. Here are the wait times for each ride. We bought this mug for $17.99 for unlimited refill only for the day at any Coca-Cola Freestyle plus IC and only at Universal Studios Parks and City Walk. This mug will not work at Universal Resort. You will need to buy the refillable mug for the resort you're staying at. First stop at Universal Studios Store to see the available merchandise. This Simpson Tiny Mug is $10. It's like a size of a shot glass. They also have other Simpson merchandise. They have a wall of Minion Mugs. This shot glass is $12, but we couldn't find any Hugo or Sherry, so we're just gonna get the I Love Orlando shot glass. They also have ET 40 year shot glass for $9. You can also get at the Universal Studios stores all kinds of different sweet treats. They have a large selections of different kinds of treats. They all look good. A few selections of Whoopie Pies and cookies. They also have a wall of different kinds of candies and chocolates. They also have slippers if you need it. You can rent an ECV, also known as an electric convenience vehicle this one for $85 with a canopy and $65 without a canopy we got our Universal Studios Orlando guide map there are eight areas here's the entrance Hollywood Woody Woodpecker's Kids Zone Springfield USA home of the Simpsons World Expo, 
The Wizarding World of Harry Potter, Diagon Alley, San Francisco, New York, Production Central, and back to the entrance. That's the whole map. There is a restroom next to where they do the concert. It was nice to see team members doing random dance performance. Central Park crepes have sweet and savory made-to-order crepes. For savory, they have smoked brisket for $11.99, street corn for $11.99, and for sweet, they have vegan berry, $11.99, and strawberry hazelnut for $9.99. And for beverages, they have freestyle soda for $4.49, we are getting the vegan berry. We got the vegan berry. This was $11.99. We were so excited to eat it, we forgot to take a picture. This was really delicious. It was really good. We liked it. However, it was very difficult to eat. They didn't have any knife and you couldn't really take it out of the cone because it was messy, but we still enjoyed it and we would still get it again. This was the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future movie with Michael J. Fox. E.T. Adventure Ride is only a 25 minute wait. We enjoyed the E.T. adventure ride. We rode on a bicycle while flying over the city like E.T. Getting churros.
We got churro. This was $6.49 and it was good. We like it. Here's the menu for Leaky Cauldron. Here's a display of the food selections that they have. Here's a look at the dining area at Leaky Cauldron. We really like the theming here. It's really nice. Hot butter beer, this was $7.99. Cold butter beer, this was $7.99. This one is the cold. <laughs> This one is the cold one? The cold one. This is the cold butter beer. How is it? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Hot butter beer. Much tastier. So we tried both the hot butter beer and the cold butter beer. The hot is much better than the cold. It's like drinking liquid butterscotch candy. This is beef, lamb, and Guinness stew. This was $16.90. This one is vegan shepherd's tasty pie. This was $16.99. So this sauce came with the shepherd's tasty pie. And um, it's horseradish. I do not like horseradish sauce. Um, these are regular seasoned fries. Not bad. The um, pie itself, I'm almost halfway done now. Um, not sure what's inside. I see some uh, some peas, some meat, I assume it's fake meat, maybe mushrooms and carrots. It's, um, it's decent. It's vegan. It's vegan, yeah. Not impressive, but good enough to eat. Mm -hmm. I got the beef, lamb, and Guinness too. This was $16.99. Um, the beef is tender. And okay, the lamb is not good at all. I didn't like it. And I also didn't like that uh, it came in a bread bowl. I wish that um, it was just a stew and maybe a side of rice. The salad I got with Italian dressing. So it's just like pure regular salad. So I wouldn't get this again. I did not like this one. That is it for today. Until next time, bye. Thanks for watching.